There we go, we got a green, blinking green arrow around my arrows, which means it's time to start, because that's how we go. Welcome to Bodendo. Let's play a Legend of Zelda Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, rock and roll. All right, so last episode, I was trying to make some tough decisions in my life, and I decided I need a couple medallions. I'm going to tackle the slime cave. It's not very hard. There's a certain sequence. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, so, you know, bragging about it, but I might make a mistake at some point. We'll find out. Gonna get rid of that consumable. Did you see that? I left my arrows out. I could have wasted my arrows. Well, I'm getting a lot. Uh, maybe I'll do that off screen too. Before the sixth dungeon, so there's a spot where you can throw in uh, rubies and kind of around the lake. So the lake on the Dark World is a temple. In Light World, though, however, there's a fairy fountain. If you throw a bunch of coins, you can upgrade your bombs and arrows. Clearly, I need that because I it's like I just use them so much. I use them so much. Uh, it's kind of a thing. That's probably the best way to describe it. A thing. Not really important. If I never mentioned it, and I never did it, it literally would not affect you whatsoever. But, you know, we have to have, like, somewhat of a full experience. Otherwise, why are you watching me? And I'm asking you that. Why are you watching me? Quit watching! Well, don't quit watching me. Just, like, quit, you know, quote-unquote, watching me, stalking me, spying on me. We don't want that. We don't want that whatsoever. Here we go. Uh, you love the consistency when I talk. Well, it, it, these episodes are great. Because I ask five questions of Doom. Uh, I don't even know if we got to that. Uh, the last episode, I'm thinking about it. Don't really remember asking five. Maybe I did. Uh, yeah. Maybe that's a weird gimmick thing that just goes away. Like a weird segment that it needed to exist that didn't need to exist. Alrighty. Now that we're done talking in annoying voices, we don't want that. I'll just talk in my regular annoying voice. Which the comments obviously said a couple of episodes ago. I was really annoying. Thanks a lot. <sighs> Why don't you tell me sooner? Just the worst. Okay. Na -na -na -na. Yay. All right. So that's three. Um, what do we got here? Close to the witch's hut. Is it? Would it behoove us, as they say, as you know, as we often say in our regular lives? It's not kind of a weird way of speaking. Behoove. Hmm. Um. Would it behoove us to buy a blue potion? Oh man, did you see that? those athletic skills? If I had any editing technique, I'd edit the heck out of that. And be like, check out this epic move. Bump, jumped over him. Cool. Um, yeah. Would it behoove us to buy a blue potion? This will recover health and medicine if we get low. I don't know if we'll get low. I could have just thrown a, a bottle into the fairy fountain I was next, just next to and got a free potion. But I was like, psh. Yeah, right. Free potion, more like pee motion. Nice. I do nice work. I do really, really nice work. Alright, so I'm up on the mountain to get the medallion, which I think is the one we need to enter Slime Cave. Pretty sure. I don't remember what they're called or what they do. I just kind of use them at random or when there's like little symbols on the ground. They're kind of weird like keys that also are um, uh, damage dealing things, which kind of like the hookshot, which is what the hookshot's nice for. Uh, recently on our podcast, we played Secret of Mana. Uh, they've got this thing called the Whip, and it's great. And they've got these like little pegs that you can jump across cliffs, and it's really tight. And it's like, man, this is best. And ugh, it just doesn't hold up because it, it's an actual weapon that you have to select. Uh, it just breaks the game flow. Not a nice system. Hookshot, however, is a very nice system. And that game came out after this one. So, what the heck, Square? You really buggered that one up, you little jerks. It's a Master Sword. I have the Temper Sword, which I guess is kind of a Master Sword. But, hmm. Keep. Uh, do I get the... Actually, I don't know specifically which 
cliff I'm supposed to jump down. I think it's one of the ones over here. This might be a good time to do that, because if I screw up, I can easily just teleport to another world. Maybe remember? Or maybe go down as the greatest hero ever in the history of Let's Plays that I was brave, and I jumped down a cliff blindly. See, I'm thinking I might also have to be in, like, Dark World. Yeah, let's find out. So essentially what I'm talking about is there's these magic capes, and one of them you have to jump down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's in Dark World. Hmm. Which I could get to. Yes, I could get to. No. No, little fairy. Come back. No, why would you leave me? After all the times we had. I'll remember you forever. You barely... You barely remember my name. Sad. Okay, Doki, let's just waste lots of time doing random nonsense. And then complain later in the episode that we don't have time to beat a dungeon. That's how we do. That's how we do. Alright. And I'm probably wasting time doing this because I maybe could have done it. Oh no. You know what? It doesn't matter. Because this takes us to Dark World, which then unlocks Turtle Rock. And we probably shouldn't do Turtle Rock. Wait, could we do it now? What do we need? I think we got lots of stuff. We got both rods. I'm missing defense. Oh, no, you know what? You definitely need the cane. Never mind. I guess we have to do slime cave first. Is that what it's called? It better be called that. Otherwise, I'm just saying slime cave a lot for no reason. Ah, oh, son of a... Oh, I don't know where to go. Maybe it's over here. Uh, Why knows? Remember how tough they were in Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Remember the first time you playing that game and you're like, man, those are some crazy looking dudes. Yeah, I don't think it's here either. Oh, is it here? <gasps> I found it. And I didn't need to go all the way out of the way. Great. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, oh. oh no, my new arch nemesis. The spikes. Spikes. Uh, first question. Five questions of doom. You ever walk across a bunch of spikes? Did you? Oh, you could have. And, like, that's not that dumb of a question, too, right? Like, you're probably going, that's a dumb question. It's not that dumb, first off. Because you could have. You don't know, right? There's fire walkers. There's spike walkers. Oh, 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 your poor little feetsies, though. Did you even think of your feetsies? Probably not. No one ever thinks of the feetsies. Clean up, Brynion. That one's good for, I guess, if you want to, like, kind of be OP'd against some of the bosses, it's kind of handy. But probably unnecessary. I know what you're thinking. Oh no, you've used up a couple of fairies. You can't go into a temple in this episode without stopping along the way to get fairies. And I say, pass, scoff. I scoff on you. Not only do I have, uh, what's it called? But I also probably have this. See, you didn't even think of those things. So, I don't know what you're worried about. Yeah, go this way. Seems like a safe place to stand. And nothing bad will happen to me whatsoever. Come on, little guy! Oh! That was the most thrilling. All right. Now we're here in the desert. We're going to go to here. It's going to be all exciting. And we're definitely not going to... Do I actually not have any fairies left? Or... I got one. Yeah, I got lots of time! Uh, and because I didn't turn the sound on, because I respect your eardrums... I, we don't have to listen to beep, 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 oh no, what will I ever do? Don't worry, there's anti-fairies in here, we got this, and I showed you that really cool trick that made me the best ever, uh, which one was it, Quake, nope, Ether, cool names, Ether, Quake, I like that, uh, back in the day, any like Super Nintendo game that used the word Quake, was really a fan of a little disappointed that the game quake uh for some reason w w didn't involve magic and wasn't zelda Let's see if i was i could go over there and get like a heart piece but and there's a heart piece there so there's two but i guess i'm at this point in the game where will i find another heart container i know two so there's two in the desert Death Mountain. I'm probably not exploring any more caves because I kind of did everything. I'm probably just going to go right to Turtle Rock. Okay, we know that. 
You know I'm gonna be useless. So, hmm. Hmm. These are tough questions. Do I get those heart pieces? Cause where's the other ones? Oh, son of a gun. Son of a gun! Can't believe how many guns are sons. Uh... All right, so we don't want to go that way because that's just kind of a dead end. Do we want to go up or around? I think we want to go up. Guys, I have this big feeling. I got a feeling. We want to go this way because I think we need a key because I think there's a locked door in the bottom left-hand corner. So that's kind of what we're looking for. Seeing if we can find a key. If we go up, there's nothing. But I bet you there's a key here. Well, that's pretty exciting. And maybe there's a key on the spikes or something? Hmm. Come here, Mr. Boomerang. Yeah, like I think if I walk out onto the spikes and do this, maybe that gets me something. What is this? Oh no! Do I not have any fairies left? Am I dead? Huh. Oh, well, son of a gun. Son of a gun. I got one continue. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I got I got cocky. I got cocky. I said, Psh, man, fairies. Who needs fairies? And it, 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 oh, man, that stings. That's good. You know what? You guys needed something. I needed, you know what? Humility. That's what I've learned. That's what I just gained. That was actually the best gift this game could ever give me. I was starting to get cocky. At one point, I called myself uh, the Renaissance man of uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past uh, Let's Plays on YouTube. And that was just uncalled for, right? Uh, I'm not the best ever. And, um, yeah. Learned a lot about myself just now. Thank you. Thank you, game. And that, that, that shows a lot. I got defeated, and I looked defeat in the eye, and I said, thank you. Thank you. You made me a better person. I'm now better for having lost you. So that's just how great I am. <laughs> but I'm secretly dead inside. Oh man, imagine if I would just made it to this room and I could have went like that and then had full health. Sh shucks. Oh, and there's another one. Oh my god. Shucks and flux. You guys ever have yucca flux? Are you too young for yucca flux? I'm sorry if you are. I didn't mean to like talk about alcohol consumption. Uh, yucca flux is, I think it's you put a bunch of alcohol in a watermelon and then eat it. Sounds kind of delicious. I think I just kind of like watermelon, too. Like, watermelon's just a good time. Doesn't have to necessarily be alcoholic. Or unless you're a kid and you're listening to this and then alcohol's bad. Like, why do you even, why would you even drink? Because I wouldn't. You know, I'm a good role model. I'd be like, Psh, no thanks. I'm only just one of the most generationally influential people ever. Uh, this is my uh, seventh part of a Let's Play. Clearly, I'm kind of a big deal. No, a lot of guys get this far. Have funding to go this far. So, kind of a big deal. Oh my god. Sometimes I play this and I never see the the whiz robes in this room. Now they're all popping up. Wonder why. Hmm. Um, oh, there's like more. There's a lot. Holy smokes. I think they teleport between two different areas, these guys. Uh, it's like this room and the room beside it. I'll show you when we go into it. So I think they kind of transfer back and forth. And I think there's just so much dead space that there's there's a high probability you just never see them. Or you see them a lot. So there must be something in the game uh, and the coding that kind of bases that. I like that it does like... Here, I'll show you what's going on. So essentially there's a fake wall. Uh, so if we went in this door, I think there would be nothing in this room. I think it's just this and all of this area so the game literally animates that wall going up and that's why it was shaking so much it's kind of cool and you see those like those whiz robes just showed up there so i think they kind of teleport between those two spaces and i think just for whatever reason maybe they get stuck on the wall if they teleport to the other side uh and again there must just be like a very high probability that that happens so neat um all right so i don't know what that door takes us or what this leads us to uh, see this is a kind of a pain and i don't like this game because what this game just did was it took us kind of kind of to where we need to go which you would think well oh, why aren't you excited about that that sounds like it's being our best friend it's not being our best friend because oh, i got a fairy that's probably all we need just the one we have to go back to the beginning and huh, i wonder if there's like a better way to get out of here so you have to use a key there oh my goodness uh, shoot. 
Alright, uh, let's go back to the beginning? Huh, let's try this again. So essentially I need the key item. Uh, that's kind of like the, the, the key to this. And because I don't have it... Huh. Not a great sequence. So see how we got the master key and then we kind of escaped that room. Uh, and you're like, oh, what a nice pattern. And like, oh, it takes you right out of the dungeon. But it's kind of a trap because it can kind of get you lost. And you do need the key Nasaria. And maybe not for this dungeon, but for at least Turtle Rock. And that's where we're trying to get to. So, Because then we can get the level 4 sword. Not the four sword, just the level four sword. Different things from the game and the item in the Minish Cap series, which is cute. Capcom did a good job. Oh, we don't need a key. All right. Anti-fairy. Oh, my goodness. Imagine if I just went this way. I feel like my life would have been so much better if I just didn't try to be so smart. That's right. You heard me. I know you all heard what I said. If I didn't try to be so smart. It's probably not a smart thing to say. And then we go... King of Sar? Samaria. Hmm. Like the little girl from the ring. What was her name? Sorry, Soria? Something like that? Yeah. Hmm. 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 Uh, you see this dungeon, there's a lot of areas I'm just skipping altogether. Some of them are redundant. You really don't need to go to all of them. So you just kind of skip around. Not 100%, not 100% necessary. Unless you're playing a randomizer like I talk about all the time, and you're probably like, shut up about the randomizer, just marry them already! You're meant to be together! You're meant to be together. Hey, we're back to this room, where I teleported from. Hey! Die! Uh, how many fairies do we need? Remember when I was feeling cocky earlier and was like, oh, fairies, me, me, me. I won't die. I'm so great. I'm full of it. Stupid. Stupid. Oh my gosh. I think I've only asked two questions. We're almost at the end of this dungeon. Oh. Uh, do you guys, did you guys play with slime? You ever play with slime? Are you Gax people? Do you know what Gax is? There's a question. You just answer it like, just, just answer one of them. Uh, either answer the Gax or the slime. I've done both. Don't want to brag. I've done both. Um, okay, what we want to do here is they want us to go like this and go... Whoop. Oh my goodness, I just realized there's this room in Turtle Rock I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat without the sound. So Life shall be interesting for us in the future, viewers. It shall be very interesting. Ah! Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of like every game of pinball I ever played, where I'm like, oh, I'm definitely gonna hit it on the paddle, and then it just goes like in between, or I, I miss, I miss time it. I didn't even need to do anything. Son of a, that makes me just the happiest boy in the whole wide world. Well, there's still a lot of dungeon left. I thought I was almost done. I was gonna brag about how fast it went. There's like a good portion of backtracking. Oh my gosh, I am shocked. Can you tell how shocked I am? Uh, maybe we'll do this and see if we can like get them both at the same time. Nope. No, sorry. You cannot. They will not allow that. Not here, not ever. And we'll go up. And then we hit a switch. Maybe there's a switch. And then maybe there's another anti-fairy. See, like this part of the game, if you know this trick, like how easy is this? You get full health all the time. You're not losing health. You're turning those kind of into a net positive and there's another guy silly uh, i'm guessing we should do that sometimes if you see a switch or there's a chance to hit a switch before you go up a set of stairs in this game it's kind of worth it uh yeah see i would have had to come back down look like a real turd sandwich uh boss is right there i'm fine although i got wrecked when i played this the one day uh, i think we use kind of like hook shot and go like this or something? Or we just maybe like fight them off? Huh. Kind of easy. And then at some point his eye's gonna pop up and we're just gonna watch and go, no! That's it. Oh, I thought it was coming up again. I'm so scared. No! And then we just keep fighting and we avoid the lining. The other day I, I was playing, I was trying to like go up behind him and like hook shot his little eyes over to me. It, and I think when he lightnings the room, all the slime gets hurt, too. So it's like a conductor. It's kind of annoying. Uh, is that enough? 
Yeah, and then it starts bouncing around, and you go bloop, 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 bloop. Uh, oh no. Uh, eyes. How's your eyesight? Do you know what your eyesight is? Have you ever been to the optometrist? Do you wear glasses? There you go. There's our fourth question and our fifth one. We're running out of time. Oh boy. Oh boy. My uh, it it it's, it's falling apart right before our eyes. Can you? What's your favorite pendant? Uh, that I I got today. Do you remember or not pendant? Uh, power disc thing. Do you remember? Do you remember the name without looking? Could you tell me what your favorite are? Could you tell me all three? I don't think that's it. So, this girl shows up, talks to us. Guys, if you knew the timer, like almost exactly twenty minutes. So, I do nice work. Uh, yes, because of you, I can escape the clutches of the evil monster. The ice powell is now going to be way easier. Uh, if we wanted, we could go back to Turtle Rock and beat that. Although, because you're so near Dan Ganon's tower, it's pointless. So that's one, two, three, maybe four episodes left. It's exciting stuff. I'm really, really doing nice work. Really crushing it. Uh, Light World took a lot longer. Because uh, in the last three episodes, I think we beat like four dungeons. So I don't know what the heck I was going on. Okay, may the force be with you too. Uh, one, two... Yeah, that's enough hearts. I don't need more hearts than that. Uh, look at that. There's our ending screen. Look how full our little screen is. It's everything. There's a cape. I didn't even use any fairies. Getting good at this game. It's scary. I'm getting pretty good. But, okay. Bye, guys. Oh, sorry. I burped. That was gross. Okay, see you next week. Bye.